in general we could say that learning studying is difficult but have you noticed that it seems to be easier for some than for others if you're interested stay tuned welcome back this is Sebastian Antonovich and on my five minute psychology channel I explain some basic psychological concepts for you so that you can use it in practice in your real life to make it easier to make it nicer and to be more successful have you noticed how learning studying is hard i mean it is let's be blunt about it it's not like it's something that comes automatically to us all it is not but there are some people who seem to be much better at it than all the rest how do they do it doesn't matter what type of learning we are talking about, whether it's preparing to a legal exam or to a language certificate. For all of these situations, you have to show how much knowledge you have gathered. And there are many techniques you can use. I'm sure you have seen a couple of them already on my channel. But there is something that a lot of people ask me about. How is it possible that I speak five foreign languages? And I don't mean uh, speaking at the tourist level. I mean the solid B2, C1 or C2 level. And sometimes people say, wow, Sebastian, you are so gifted. You have the gift from God. I just say, well, no, <laughs> it's just hard work and using some particular techniques which make the whole process so much easier. And if I can do it, you can do it too. One of these techniques that I use, for instance, to acquire foreign vocabulary is learning in context. Today, we're going to discover what it really means to learn in context. And it will be mainly applicable for foreign languages, but also for studying history, for instance. And I'm sure you will be able to apply this knowledge to whatever subject you are studying right now. So let's get straight on to it. Years and years ago, when I was preparing to my first language certificate, I remember my classmates with long lists of vocabulary. And there was a word in their native tongue and next to it, the word equivalent in the foreign language. And there were students who were able to prepare lists of thousands, literally thousands of words to learn in a week time. They were able to do it. They were able to pass these exams pass them and guess what happened after these exams? Well, most of these words, they were forgotten for many reasons. One reason perhaps was that they were, the students, they were not using these words. But another reason was that they learned these words without the context. The first and the most basic approach towards learning vocabulary in the context is, instead of learning separate single words, to learn whole phrases, whole sentences with these words. And naturally, the best way to approach it would be, first of all, to create a couple of sentences or shorter phrases, which would kind of explain the meaning of the word so that you would be able to understand the meaning of the word from the context, from the sentence. And of course, my suggestion would be for you to create these sentences yourself rather than to ask your teacher to prepare these sentences for you. You probably already know my approach towards learning and towards teaching. The student should always be the most active body in the process, not the teacher. Always the student is the master of their own faith. Another way which will help you learn vocabulary in the context is to understand the category of the word you're learning, whether it's a noun or an adjective or a verb. Understanding the category, even if you don't know exactly what the word means, can be very useful because there are some characteristics in every language for nouns, for verbs and for adjectives. Granted, there are plenty of exceptions, but forget about them. For now, concentrate on the main rules. Perhaps there is some suffix which will tell you that this is a verb or a noun. Learn them, learn these categories so that later on in the future, 
future. Whenever you are exposed to a word which you don't know at all, but you can notice some elements of the of this word which suggests that perhaps it's an, it's an adjective or an adverb, perhaps this way you will be able to understand better the meaning of the whole phrase and the effect of that will be that later on it will be so much easier for you to memorize the meaning of the word itself the next approach to learning words in context is to learn not only one meaning of this word in most languages there are plenty of words which have definitely more than one meaning only. And perhaps it seems like something counterproductive because, you know, it seems so easy to learn one word in your native tongue and the equivalent, one equivalent in the foreign language. But it's really misleading. Our memory and our mind is able to create a particular place for words if we are able to learn a lot of meanings of this word. And yes, at first it may seem a little bit time consuming and a really hard work, and maybe it is, but you can be sure that this way it will be so much easier for your brain to memorize this word, but also to be able to use it in practice later on and to recall this word whenever you need it. This way you can learn much, much more words in one word only. And also a good idea would be to concentrate on the idiomatic meanings of the word. Whenever they're using an idiomatic phrase, it's a good idea to memorize it too, because idioms, idiomatic expressions, this is the element of the very natural language that you may want to learn, not the bookish type of a language, which is kind of artificial. Think about it, maybe it's for you. Now this one, this one is going to surprise you, I'm absolutely sure. A good way to learn words in context is to guess their meaning. If you have absolutely no clue what this word could mean, stop. Don't look it up in a dictionary. Don't open Google Translate. Don't even ask your teacher to tell you the translation of this word. By the way, from my perspective, this one, asking your teacher to translate a word for you, this is the worst idea ever in your process of learning. Try and guess the meaning. And no matter if your guess is a good one or not, honestly, because it's not really about the direct effect, the immediate effect that you are going to get. No, it's about this particular activity performed by your mind and by your brain. This way you prepare your mind to understand the word from a totally foreign concept, from a totally strange uh, perspective, whenever you, mm, you see something that you would never expect in a particular phrase or in a particular text. And it doesn't matter if you read it uh, and uh, if you're wondering what's the meaning of the word or whether you are listening to uh, the news bulletin or to a song or to a film in all of these situations, rather than uh, check the meaning of the word in a dictionary, just try to guess it. And if you don't guess it right, that's okay. You will be making mistakes this way at the beginning Definitely, but with time, you not only are going to learn a large number of words, but also you are going to acquire a particular skill of understanding the foreign language more easily. Now, let it be my gift for you, and I hope it's going to work for you. Let me know in the comments if you've ever heard about these techniques, and perhaps you have your own ideas on how to learn more effectively. Make sure to browse through my channel to search for some interesting learning techniques and I'll see you next time.